What's up, YouTubers? Okay, so let's pretend the bottom of my little candle holder right there is not so dusty. I'm just showing you guys what we're gonna be using here. As you saw, there is some mixed nuts and fruits, some bird seed, coconut oil, and then I've got some cookie cutters, some jute string, and then a paintbrush. First, you're gonna start by chopping up your mixed nuts and fruits if you have those available. You absolutely don't have to use these. I just have a bunch of them that don't get used up and so I thought this would be great for the birds. Okay, so in this bowl, I just did two or three tablespoons of the coconut oil and so I'm just taking the chopped nuts and fruits and some bird seed that we got at our hardware store and I'm going to mix those all into the bowl. Now this is the first time that I have ever done this. So I actually saw this idea on a couple of other channels that I follow and so I wanted to do a little video on it for my followers you guys absolutely go check out my description below i will link their channels down there i just love their inspiration and their ideas so melt down your coconut oil you can use beef tallow as well but it's really hard to find here so we went with the coconut oil and then just mix in your bird seed or whatever it is that you're wanting to use so i chose to use these christmas cookie cutters that we have um, because you put them to be like you want them to solidify in some sort of form so that way you can you know put a hole in them and then put a string through them to hang them in the trees or the bushes or near the birdhouses and so you'll see me here just filling them in and i packed them down pretty hard um, one of my concerns that i was having was that i didn't have enough bird seed to my coconut oil ratio so one thing that i would do differently when i do this next time is maybe not as much bird seed i was thinking more geez louise the kids are doing dishes um, i was thinking more bird seed would be the better option but you'll see at the end why you should maybe chill on the the bird seed and do a little bit more um, coconut oil. So here that was just a paper towel holder or toilet paper insert that we used just for the extra stuff And then I set it outside in the snow because I'm really impatient and I wanted them to harden here They're hard. They were out there for like 15 minutes Okay, now I'm gonna pop them out of the cookie cutters One thing that did happen with the coconut oil is once I started handling the um, molds of the cookies that I made that just the heat from my hands was very much melting the coconut oil and you'll see off to the side here's the little snowman one you see off to the side that cut that candy cane one fell apart because it was just much too thin so another thing I would recommend is use bigger cookie cutters these are very small um, and I think the surface area needs to be a little bit bigger or at least not as thin as the candy cane one the other ones did fairly well. The best one that I did was the toilet paper roll. So if you guys have toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, those that was the best one. And I saw another lady, I cannot remember her channel, but she poked a stick down in her toilet paper roll like during the stage where the, the coconut oil is still melted. 
and let it harden around that stick and it was a really cool way to to hang it for the birds so then with the the paper towel roller the toilet paper roll you're just going to rip this off of there it kind of broke on me here down at the bottom and here's why I would use less bird seed and more coconut oil. See there at the bottom, that one stuck together really, really well. There was no fallout on it because it had plenty of coconut oil on it. So just kind of play around and see what works for you. Um, I think next time, if I don't have any uh, paper, paper towel or toilet paper inserts to use, usually I have a bunch of them, but the puppy got a hold of the couple that I had saved and was playing with them. So I only had that one. Uh, yeah, there you go. Anyways, um, definitely, definitely use the paper towel inserts. I mean, and what a good way to repurpose those anyways. So here I'm trying to put a hole in my gingerbread man so I can put a stick through it. And it broke because it's just too small. <laughs> it's just too small. You need to have a bigger surface. I would even say like the lids of mason jars would be really good for this too. Like if you didn't have cookie cutters and you needed it to be like formed see how oily my hands are from handling the coconut oil okay see so i'm just kind of experimenting here i know this video is kind of like tanya get your life together <laughs> but i went i was so excited to make bird cookies the birds are so active out there in that um spruce tree in the morning and we actually didn't have any school here today because it was so poopy weather with the the snow and the cold and the wind we have both fireplaces going today so then you're going to take a a jute string or a twine and put it through your little hole. You just don't have to thread them at all. You can set them out. You know those wire um, bird food, like the bird food brick holders, you just go buy the brick and you put it down in that little wire container. This would be amazing to do those. You could just make it into a square or any shape really, as long as it will fit inside one of those little contraptions. You just put them in there. You'll see what I did with mine. That one I busted. At this point, I'm like, oh my goodness, my video is going to fail. I'm going to have to do this all over again. But you know what? We're all human. And I don't want you guys to to go in thinking you can just make, make these and not have any trial and error. I definitely think the beef tallow um, would have a much higher melting point. So um, you would be able to handle them easier without them melting um, more than you can with the coconut oil but still it turned out fine. The birds don't care what shape they're in. Um, and I just wanna watch the birds. I'm so impatient that I went out a couple of times. You guys, it's like two degrees here. It's very cold, very windy, like 60 mile per hour winds, snow blowing everywhere. And um, I was trying to see if the birds were out there like eating the bird food yet. But of course they weren't. It's almost sundown at this point and yeah, they'll definitely be out there in the morning. So I am going to post them uh, in the morning after I catch them eating the things I leaved out or left it out for them. I'll post those on my Instagram page. So make sure you're following me there. Here's just some cute pictures. I don't know why it's so blurry. Like, look at my terrible skills. Here's my snowman one. All right, here's the tree. I hung this one right here. You guys, there's so many birds out here at this tree every single day, no matter what time of the year it is. I even have a little birdhouse hung in this tree. And then I just left the others in that little dish in the big center of the tree. Here's me all proud of my, my, <laughs> my bird cookie. That's what I've been calling them as bird cookies. And telling you guys that I left the rest of them in a dish right there. Uh, yeah, it was too windy, so you couldn't hear anything I was saying, so I had to voice over. 